I love keeping students guessing. They expect one result and get something completely different and then seeing them actually work out why they got that different result. That's something that I find really rewarding. So what we're going to do? I've always had an innate desire to teach. Even as a child, if I learnt something, I would teach it to someone else. And I've always loved science, but I couldn't see myself working in a laboratory environment. So it was a logical progression to combine my passion for science with my desire to teach. Salisbury High School is a northern suburbs school. We have just under a thousand students. My classrooms are usually noisy because I encourage students to talk to each other. Sometimes they might be a bit worried about asking me a question in front of everybody, but they'll quite happily ask their peers. I like my classrooms to be active and having students out of their chairs and getting involved with the science. We have approximately 50 students in the special education unit and they have a mixture of disabilities such as intellectual disabilities, physical disabilities. We have autistic students, students with Down syndrome. So we've got a real mixture within that group. I think they need to be given the same opportunities as mainstream students so that they can learn about the wonders of science. Agriculture came about as a subject that was driven by a student desire to be outdoors. We work with horses, we learn about cropping, we also look at some studies on sheep and cattle and some farming livestock. Last year agriculture was a trial class and it was so successful this year when we ran it, we had 86% of the students choosing agriculture as their first choice. My ideal future for the agriculture subject is to actually see some students getting their skills in fencing and their skills in tractor driving and their skills in managing crops and understanding that to a point where they can actually get seasonal work and employment as Jillaroos, Jackaroos working on farms. We have students who have been running science shows. We've also had students presenting at a number of school holiday care sessions. So science has evolved from being just within our own classroom to actually being out in the community a lot more in special education. I love teaching. I'll always want to be in a classroom, but one of the things I'm very passionate about personally is working with early career teachers to ensure that science teachers have the opportunity to develop their skills to make their science as interesting as possible in their own classroom. We need to understand a little bit of science to make educated decisions about things that are happening in our lives.